Hey, good, good day, guys. Um, good day. <laughs> Should I do another take? No. Good day, guys. It's a freezing 21 degrees Celsius in Sydney. Um, people are complaining on Facebook that it's bitterly cold. Uh, it's been a bit very dense air, cooler air, uh, a bit of rain. Had really erratic weather, actually. Um, in saying that, a bad tank of fuel will not compensate for colder air much. And I've noticed that, so once again, tanks under half, it's got BP in it, and it feels like... <clears throat> anyway, what this video is about is the Recaro seats. So, you know, the other day I saw my brother, he goes, you look really good, and I know I look better when I've got a bit more weight on me. So, when I bought this car, I was a size 32 on my waist uh, to 33, okay? Now, I'm a size 36, so what does that mean in kilograms? I wish I could convert to pounds, but um, I won't. So what it means in kilograms is this, I'm 176 centimeters tall, and in kilograms, I was 83 kilograms. I'm now 93 kilograms. Okay, my average weight would have probably, when I bought the car, be more towards 84 kilograms, right? Now, I'm gonna show you my, my legs. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit hard to see. Okay, I've put on weight. The Recaros are unbearable. I'm constantly readjusting myself in the car upwards, as in pulling myself up. I'm now making a warning about these Recaros. I think I may have mentioned this before. So in this area here, um, you can see that Sancho room wax, uh, it, uh, or you can hear it. See. I've room waxed the seats with the products I've talked about earlier, uh, in earlier videos. So the seats, um, I don't know if yours, uh, I think they do that, but yeah, it's got a bit of a more of a texture to it with that room wax stuff. Now, as you can see here, it's just poorly supported. I mean, I'm, I don't know what it is. It's, I just got to lose some weight, but this is much harder. Now from here to here, I mean, it looks fine when you're looking at it, and it actually looks quite wide. Like, I mean, it should be for the American market usually, but it's not. It's really, really narrow. And I had this when I bought the car. I remember now, I made a video on the way, and I said it's putting pressure on my outer thighs. But I'm warning you guys now, do not buy these Recaros if you are a size 36 waist, uh, if you are uh, big boned, as they call, as your mother might say, if you don't want to lose weight, or if you're gaining weight, or if you're in the car for a long time, for long distances, do not buy the Recaros. To top it all off, it's amazing what a bit of weight can do for you. So, all right, you put some weight on, and then when you bend down and do your shoelaces, you can sort of feel your lunch coming up. That's me, right? Bearing in mind, guys, I haven't really worked for a couple of months, right? Okay, now, what happens in these Recaros is, <coughs> With the extra weight, I think you've got a bit less movement in your clothes and you can't get out of the car properly. So now I'm struggling to get out of this car. And the thing is, I know I'm damaging the seat with my fat ass. So have a look at these lines. See? Oh, I've got to clean my car. Sorry, guys. Have a look at that. Okay? What's that from is for me getting in and out of this car or, or for whatever reason yeah it is it's it's my fat ass pushing on it i mean look at this look at this i'm actually sitting on that it looks like i don't know what it is but i'll tell you now guys don't buy the recaros i think that's enough of that i have a tendency to just <laughs> okay yeah so it's one of those days i've gotten in the car yesterday as well and the day before and it's just like uh, I can't wait to get the engine pipe on it, the NVIDIA catted downpipe, and get the tune. But in saying that, guys, isn't the, aren't these cars already at their limits? I mean, take off firmly in it, and you'll hear the drive shafts going click, click, click. And that's why I didn't modify this car. Because I don't want to turn around later and go, since I put the NVIDIA downpipe on, there's clicking noises from all the drive shafts on the corners. Now the problem is, I'm very fussy with that. Driven right, you don't have it. And the thing is, if you think you're gonna buy an Audi and not have that, you will. Now, Sapien Budgie, if you can be bothered even watching five minutes of this, thank you. But, okay, what, 
what do you have any drivetrain noises i have got so many audi owners complaining of noisy suspension and i've heard it it's shocking so if this car had noisy suspension guys and more creaks and more cracks in it i wouldn't i, I would never buy another one you know it would be the end of me with subaru i like subaru because their suspension remains fairly quiet now another thing i've got this wheel it's not since i smashed it it's just started the other day it's going so what that is is the run out on the disc you'd normally say there's a pad that's a bit sticky i very much doubt it so i've got this disc now beginning to run out on one of the pads so i'm hearing now it could be a bit of dirt it could be a bit of impurities in the pads and that'll correct itself there's no vibration through the brake pedal or anything like that so yeah that's all going great uh, and yeah, I just want to say hi. Now, on a, on a personal note, um, I've had a bit of, um, uh, not conflict, but we've got a bit of stuff going on, you know, in the family and stuff like that. Yesterday, people were getting a little bit angry, and it's just so amazing what I transformed into. Guys, sorry to mix the videos up. I, I don't think all of you want to know about this, but I just have to quickly tell you, if you know my previous videos, I'm trying to improve myself and help people and stuff, and I, you know, it's not a big deal, right? It's not that much of a big deal. No one really watches those videos. It's very obvious. These videos will get 400 hits, the other videos will get 30 hits, but I have to mention, guys, I got angry yesterday. So then I was paralyzed in my kitchen. I mentioned previously, I'm one of, I'm one of those people, Bebby, Get on the grass, there's a car coming. I'm one of those, oh, put him in the car, he's the ranger. So, I'm one of those people that um, will become more unable to make decisions when I'm stressed out. So I'll basically stand around in the kitchen, uh, you know, walking up and down, chain smoking, chain drinking tea, or chain vaping now, whatever I do, right? And basically, I'm not that upset, I'm just unable to make decisions. But the underlying anger that was expressed by a lot of people yesterday, including myself, for whatever reasons, of this freaking workshop, right? Um, which is finally closing, that's it, we're moving to nowhere. But, uh, <laughs> The anger spread, so I was very calm last night. I was very quiet. I thought nothing of it, but I didn't do the work to, to improve my actual mindset. In my mind, I was angry, but I was just calm on the outside. Like, because how much can you be angry in life? I mean, what are you gonna go blowing up every freaking day? No. But I have to tell you guys how toxic it is. So I went down to my car space today, and if you've seen my space in the videos, it's that far from a pylon, and then I've got that red shitbox S coupe next to me, and I can just, you know, it's there's enough room, but it's not. If I make one wrong move, I'm gonna smash my car, right? Anyway, so I walk down the car park, and I go, fucking shit car park, this goddamn car park, oh, and then, you know, the unit that I'm renting's worth $1.4 million because there's a stupid real estate bubble and I thought I wouldn't pay and I actually was talking to myself going I wouldn't pay one cent look at this car park scumbag developers scumbag developers guys now if you know my videos my dad a developer has bought our workshop so underlying anger guys is so toxic it could lead you to have a car accident it could lead you to yell at people when you don't mean to so make sure you find joy in what you do and don't be like me last night identify what that negative anger is and you can't stop it but you can certainly redirect the energy you're putting towards that anger uh, uh, you redirect the energy that you're you're putting towards that anger. I don't believe the energy can just be stopped. And I'm not saying to not be angry. We're allowed to be angry. Yesterday was unique. It was a case where we actually had to be angry. Like, put it this way. Me and my brother were actually psyching ourselves up to be angry and it did not help even though we thought it was the right thing it wasn't i've woken up this morning just feral had not not even feral just had four cups of coffee took none of my vitamins had no bananas i've not had breakfast and it's my son's first day of school in the uk so yeah guys um uh, be well and uh, i just want to tell you that i was struggling right now um i am struggling right now and now because i've had that many cups of coffee i need to 
you know, take a piss every five minutes and literally now I'm going to go home. I'm meant to take my son to school, my kids to school shortly. So what I'll do, I'll go to my exes, eat something, but you know, that's it. It's like just toxic and get rid of those toxic people. But if you can't, definitely brace yourself that when you have interactions with them that you're going to be freaking toxified uh and, and stuff like that you know it's just absolutely unbelievable that i could be here on youtube going oh we need to work on ourselves and find the joy and then leave the house not having any breakfast absolutely feeling like shit and now putting it on you guys i'm getting this out and get it out there guys ring up a friend and bash their ears in and if they don't listen to you, you you'll find someone that will because uh, I tell you what, you keep this shit inside, no wonder people are bloody walking around so unhappy. So now that I've told you guys, I've shared the content, but I wanna turn it into a positive, okay? We have toxic influences come into our family. They have completely redirected the path of our, the way we deal with things, the way we trust people, okay, and stuff like that. And it's really, really difficult, okay? And even though I didn't appear to be angry, I am, and I think that I'm not, but I am. So what does it do? It makes me start yelling in the car park, what a damn shit, narrow space, Ugh! and then I took it out on the dog, and God no, God help whoever runs into me down here if they say one word to me like a cyclist. So, you know, all these cyclists, which I cycle to, that they go enraging drivers and risking their lives to enrage people. When people have a road rage attack at cyclists, I mean, I don't think that all the anger is really because of the cyclists. I think people are not dealing with issues and then they're waking up with the wrong foot off the bed. Now, I've walked up on the wrong foot off the bed and by posting this video, which if I listen to it, I probably never will, I've put the right foot forward and if it helps one person, so be it. But yeah, I'll try and keep them separate. It's about the Recaros, it's about the shit petrol, it's about the run out, and now it's about me being pissed off and not even knowing it and then ruining day after day. I was meant to be at the gym right now. No, I'm, there's no way I'm going to the gym because now I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, have a great day. And um, let's see. How can I settle down now? How can I settle myself down? Keep calm. We're in paradise. And keep calm. It's a Subaru WRX STI. You know? Whoa. See? And now my brain's thinking, don't post it. Don't post it. Maybe I won't. <laughs>